Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my college night routine. I'm going to make this kind of vlog style like I did my college morning routine, which if you haven't seen that already, go check it out. But every night is definitely different, but I feel like a common theme every night for me is just a lot of self-care and relaxing and winding down at the end of the day. So I actually just got home from class and the first thing I like to do when I get home is just take my makeup off, take a shower, get into my pajamas and just be comfortable for the rest of the night. So that's what we're doing right away. I pretty much always shower at night, but I usually just do like a body shower because I don't wash my hair every single day. So I'm just gonna put my hair up in a bun for now because I only wash my hair like once or twice a week. My hair is so short now, it like can barely go in a bun. There we go. So I'm just going in with a makeup wipe and taking off all of my makeup. This is literally the best feeling ever, taking off your makeup at the end of the day. Okay, makeup is now off. I am going to hop in the shower now, so let's go. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about the products I've been using in the shower lately. I'm actually partnering with Alba Botanica on today's video because I've been loving some products from their Acne Dote line and I'm super excited to share them with you guys. I've been trying these out for a few weeks now and they've really been helping with keeping my skin clear. The first product I wanted to talk about is their Acne Dote Deep Pore Wash. Taking your makeup off with a makeup wipe is not enough to clean your skin. It's super important to go in with a cleanser at the end of the day. I love this one because it's oil free and has 2% salicylic acid which is going to clear acne and also prevent new breakouts from coming. After cleanser I go in with the Acne Dote Face and Body Scrub. I've been obsessed with this product because it can be used to keep areas other than your face clear such as your chest or your back but it's still gentle enough to be used on your face as an exfoliator. This product also has salicylic acid and the willow bark extract in the product provides a tough but still gentle exfoliant and you can really feel it working and smoothing your skin. After I go in with these two products, I just go in with a regular body wash. I've been loving this one from Philosophy lately. It smells so good. And then that's it for the shower. So we're back. I put on my pink satin robe to be extra. So now we can continue. Okay, taking my hair out so that it doesn't crease too bad. So after I get out of the shower, I like to just go in with the rest of my skincare routine. So I'm not going to bore you guys with this because I have posted a full in-depth skincare routine on my channel. So if you want to see what products I'm using and why I use them and stuff, just go check that video out. So I'm just going to speed through it for now. But I did want to talk about this product because I haven't shown it on my channel before. These are the Alba Botanica Acne Dope Pimple Patches. This is a really cool and like unique product. I've never tried anything like this. So it's basically a spot treatment, but they're just these little patches that you stick on to a specific breakout. I'm not gonna use any right now because my skin doesn't need it right now, but I can tell you from experience, I had a pimple right here last week and I used these like three days in a row, I would say and the pimple was completely gone and there's no like scarring or anything left these helped dry it out so quickly but you know how some spot treatments like dry your skin out so much that then you're left with like flaky irritated skin these don't do that at all so there are small and large sized patches and they're literally transparent so you don't see them on your skin at all and they just absorb into your skin overnight so you're gonna wake up and just forget about it they're gonna be gone and your pimples are going to be cured so yeah this is such a cool product i definitely recommend checking out alba botanica their products are so affordable and they're available at walmart so i will have links to everything i talked about down in the description box below and now here is a little sped up montage of my nighttime skincare routine Okay, 
okay so now i'm going to change into my pajamas and get comfortable and then i'm going to head downstairs and make some dinner because i haven't eaten yet Okay, so for dinner, obviously every night's different. Sometimes I make dinner, sometimes my mom makes dinner, sometimes I end up eating out, which I'm trying not to do as much. But tonight, I'm just gonna make myself some shrimp tacos. I feel like that'll be like quick and easy. So I'm just gonna kind of see what I have in my kitchen and work with it. The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Okay, so we have our shrimp in here that we're gonna cook on the stove, put some taco seasoning on. We're gonna put in some lettuce, onion, and some avocado. And then we also have this salsa from Whole Foods that we'll put on and some lemon for on top. And then we have some leftover Spanish rice in the fridge that I'm gonna eat up and have on the side. Okay, I'm gonna eat my dinner, maybe watch a YouTube video on my phone, and then I will catch up with you guys. Before I head back upstairs, I'm just gonna make myself some tea. I only really ever drink tea when it's cold outside because like it makes me feel all warm and cozy. So I'm gonna make some of this French vanilla chai tea. Chai is my absolute favorite kind of tea for sure. I just got this mug from Urban Outfitters. More self-love, we love that. So something I do pretty much every night is get out my planner and kind of check off the things that I got done today and then make sort of a to-do list for the next day. And then obviously every night is different. Again, if I have like homework or whatever, I do have one quick assignment that I have to get done tonight, but I got a lot of my homework done during the day, so luckily I don't have too much to do tonight because it's already pretty late. Gonna just kind of plan out my day tomorrow, do my homework assignment for my finance class that I have to get done, and then that's all of the productive stuff that I have to get done, and then I can just chill for the rest of the night. Oh my god. Okay, I just finished all my homework, so I'm pretty much done with everything that I need to get done for the night. It's like 9.30 right now, and I'm honestly tired. I go to bed really early. I like getting a full night of sleep and waking up relatively early in the morning and just starting my day earlier and ending it earlier. So 9.30 is like my bedtime. I'm probably going to just kind of chill in bed, maybe watch some YouTube videos. So 
So I've just been like watching YouTube videos, scrolling through Instagram. My phone updated the other day without asking me. Now, like if you go to settings and you go to screen time, you can see how many hours on average a day you spend on your phone and it's just very interesting i've spent an hour and 52 minutes on average per day in the last week which seems like a lot but i actually think that's like not that bad i'm pretty sure the average for like my age demographic is like way higher than that so i'm pretty proud of that but i don't know like if i should be i'm gonna go brush my teeth and then go to bed <laughs> Something I like to do before bed is just spray my pillows with some lavender to help relax me and just get me ready for bed. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for my college night routine. I am going to go to sleep now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram to keep up with more of my life. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!